Nene with Yummy Life with Aidy. Welcome back again to another very interesting video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your support, for wishing me well. It was really touching. I really appreciate that so much. We are back in my kitchen. And guys, today we are continuing with a new series that we started last Sunday of making fresh juices in the house to quench our family, to soothe those very hot days, you know, something just to cool you down and make you feel nice. So guys, today we are making another amazing juice. The juice of the day is pineapple and mint juice. Yes, guys, let me introduce you to the ingredients of the day. So my people, we have three uh, cubed pineapples. They are ready to go to the blender. And we also have a bunch of mint leaves that we are going to use two ways. Guys, always note that if you have very nice fruit that is, uh, you know, mature and sweet, you will not need sugar. But if you don't, you will have to sweeten your juice with a bit of sugar. So we have sugar here. Then we also have two more pineapples that I've cut on the long side. My people, let us do this. Guys, I'm teaching you how to make juice two ways. We are going to use a juicer. And if you don't have a juicer, you can still make the same, same juice with a blender. You use whatever you have. Let us get our juicer ready. A juice collection ready. I have a, a plastic bowl and a sieve here so that you can put our juice there. So for this, you really don't have to prep your mint. You just clean it so that all your leaves are clean and you're just going to fold them and put them in the juicer. That way, we'll just go on juicing. So my people, we give our juicer a bit of time just to rest. And also we collect all our precious, precious juice and put it through a sieve. Then we go on. I'm going to cover this because it's really splattering all over. finished with our first juice so we collect all our goodness that is already ready so now we move to the blender guys with the juicer we didn't use any water but with our blender we'll have to use a bit of water so we load up our blender I'm just going to remove the stems of our mint and put our mint inside. Then put a bit of water so that we just don't strain our blender and also our pineapple juice. We don't want it to be too watery. And we blend this. Now, 
apple is a bit stubborn than the mango juice. So we are going to blend this around four times so that we can make sure that we get all the goodness from our fruit. Give your blender all this time to rest so that it does not overheat. There goes our fourth time. We're going to put this through a sieve now. And I just love the color it's giving my pineapple juice. That mint just does wonders. So we now continue with our pineapple. There goes our fourth time now. We want to see this. Look at that, guys. So you just take a spoon and you make sure that you're sieving the goodness. Pineapples are not like mangoes, so they usually give out a lot of waste. And you just make sure that you get all your goodness from the waste. And that when you're throwing it away, it's totally dry. Like this. We load up our last batch. Very little water, just to help our blender. So there goes our last batch. So we are finished with our juice now. So you see what five pineapples can give you. And the good thing with these juices Always go to the market, you're going to buy fruit in bulk and that way everything is going to be very cheap for you even to make these juices. Like uh, the five pineapples, I bought them at 200 because each was going for 40 Kenya shillings. So you imagine for 200 shillings and mint for 50 shillings, I've gotten myself juice that my kids will enjoy and it is fresh juice. So always remember to get all the goodness from your sieve. And now let us mix our juice. Wow. Look at that color. It is really beautiful. And you should smell my house. It's just smelling of pineapple and mint. I love, love this juice. We're going to do some testing so that we can test the sugar. Oh my God, it's perfect. 
it will not need any sugar so guys let me show you how we are going to package our juice let me first clear up here so i like putting my juice in this big glass jar that way it freezes very very well and i'm just going to pour my juice inside look at the color of that juice wow and my glass container takes exactly four liters so we have very nice juice now let me show you how we serve our juice so my people i'll need some ice cubes let us do service we are going to serve our pineapple juice in a nice big glass and also some spiraled straw that is also green you know to match up with my setup and i just want to put some ice cubes into my jar because my juice has not been in the fridge and now let us serve our juice wow look at that guys we wipe the rim so that it does not mess our fridge i want to say thank you thank you so much for being in my kitchen and my people I always need your support. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Watch these videos, like, make sure you're watching the ads so that I can earn a few, few, few shillings. And guys, I love you. From my house to your house with so much love. God bless you. So guys, let us do the testing. My people, here is my juice. So I'm starting in my ice cubes so that every sip is cool. Bon appetit, guys. <laughs> I will dare you. Go out, try this pineapple and mint juice, and I know you're going to love it. I post a video every Sunday. See you guys next Sunday. Bye.